Hello. I'm Bernie Norcott Mahaney. I work at the Kansas City Public Library and I also teach a course at uh, Johnson County Community College. And today's poem is a poem called Mimnormus in Church by William Johnson Corey. Now Corey was a schoolmaster. He was a Latin teacher, Latin master at Eton, one of the prestigious Britain, British public schools, which are re were really private schools. And he was considered a master of Latin verse in the in the Victorian uh, era, um, he his most famous work was a collection of poems called Ionica, things of Ionia, so Greek things. Homer, for instance, comes from Ionia, um, and this poem is is part of that collection. Uh, Mimnermus was a Greek lyric poet from the seventh century B.C. He lived at the end of the seventh century, so six twenty to six hundred B.C. Um, here, the figure of Mim Mimnermus wrestles with the idea of an afterlife and a heaven. So it's sort of like take a Greek character and put him in a Christian setting and see what happens. So in a sense, this is almost another dramatic monologue, but it's, it's more meditative and it's fairly short. Mimnermus in Church by William Johnson Corey. You promise heavens free from strife, pure truth, and perfect change of will. But sweet, sweet is this human life, so sweet I fain would breathe it still. Your chilly stars I can forego. This warm kind world is all I know. You say there is no substance here, one great reality above. Back from that void I shrink in fear and childlike hide myself in love. Show me what angels feel. Till then, I cling a mere weak man to men. You bid me lift my mean desires from faltering lips and fitful veins to sexless souls, ideal choirs, unwearied voices, wordless strains. My mind, with fonder welcome, owns one dear dead friend's remembered tones. Forsooth, the present we must give to that which cannot pass away, all beauteous things for which we live by laws of time and space decay. But oh, the very reason why I clasp them is because they die. So that was Mimnermus in church, um, contrasting living life with a supposed afterlife, um, the poem by William Johnson Corey. So that is it for today, and I will see you tomorrow.